very easy for Fofo to try and use this Emperor's Divide to separate the fight. Same when you look towards Hong, who's able to get these solar flares to stop the rest one away. Although, I actually think that this could actually lend itself in towards Rare Adam having a bit of an advantage, because you've now given this time to SOFM, who's invested in towards a dragon, and you can look at where Hong placing these wards topside. He hasn't been stealing away any of these farms. It's actually Sunin, who, despite the priority that Ore have in mid, and but they're getting the objectives. Like, Honestly, this is like a big win for Sunin across the board. Like, despite the goals that was in advantage for RA because of the mid lane matchup, like, honestly, like, this is how you can play this as RA, but we're not getting any of it from Lian. The only thing they could be worried about is a potential Rift Herald play on bot side with Huanfeng, but you have the TP for Cube in the top lane. You can still make these plays happen. Just, I don't know. It feels like RA. You have the paranoia available, always able to join. Bin goes for the early damage, pushing out Cube. Rift Herald's already started by RA, but they've been spotted out now, and they're gonna have to get out. Q by himself, though, in the transition of the Rift Herald, and he just gets the trigger pulled on top of him. Ben picks up the kill. Yeah, and Rift Herald's still here as well. So soon we just said, look, they can Man. now fight this. They've hit the point where they're strong. They get the Rift Herald. You put that in mid, and it's a beautiful timing for this dragon that's in 30 seconds. This and all, like, yes, you invested a lot of that stuff from like SOFM, being with the Heartbreaker, also on uh, committing that Glacial Fissure. But I don't know if you're going to be able to contest this because again, Cube, he TP'd back top lane. He cannot get to the dragon in time. And we're just a couple seconds from a potential soul point for Sunin. They've been snowballing these dragons. They're also getting the Rift Heralds back and forth. They've gotten every single neutral. They've had pushed this entire time. Fofo has been destroying the mid lane, but Leanne, oh, got Hong. My God, no, this is how it happens. This is how it goes down. SOFM dies to Hong. Bale worked towards a Nasher's Tooth. Iboy's the only one really who's like, kind of hit his stride and is like, okay, this is kind of the, the level that I stay at for this game. Oh no, Cube. <laughs> okay, can't decide if he wants to stay under tower. Does use the hard miss there. There's a lot of time the needle work doing some work here as well. A lot of damage <laughs> on SOFM. He flashes over the wall. So does Angel. That's a lot of summoner spells burned by the side. For extending yourselves as RA pick up their second dragon. And I don't really get this from Sunin, right? Like, actually, they do get the tower. I wasn't sure if SOFM was backing away before. Wait, that either of these teams feel confident to go for that just yet. This actually reminds me of... Um, Back in spring 2020, with uh, myself and Hysterics, we ended up. Ca oh, hang on! Ooh. We get blood. Blood. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh! Is this gonna be it? The heartbreaker misses. The needlework. The flash. No! It's <laughs> gonna go over, and it's Cube that picks it up. Just about gives enough damage, and now bot side. Like Leanne went in for the fight. Now Angel's in some trouble here. Has the hard miss for Cube, but there's the glacial Fisher and Cube. Just gonna be taken out. A little bit of a trade back. After they had just taken out Ben. Help Pierre with as nearly as many dragons as kills. But we are looking at Ore now starting up the dragon. This could be the moment. This Never mind. It. Dead. Nope, it's gone. Paranoia is already out. Glacial Fisher is used. But Sunni are the ones that back caught in the middle ground here because you do also have Angel pushing the side lane, having TP available for him. So how do RA push this? Do they force the fight? It's such a crazy predicament to be in, but it actually looks like Angel's going to be pausing in the lane and waiting for that TP needed to come down. Dragon is spawning now. RA are in front of the pit, but Angel is in the base. We need to keep an eye on the minimap. The TP is now coming down. That's a flank from the Akali. Is this the setup for Sooning, or does Angel just get caught out by himself? RA beautifully handle the flank. They know that there's somebody behind him, but there's the paranoia. Doesn't matter if you knew, because Fofo's got a beautiful in for his divide, and RA are sticking together like glue and not separating, not getting pulled apart, but Angel's Making a damn good try here as SOFM and Angel are the only ones left. Their health bar is not necessarily the highest. And Cube, the real damage dealer here in this fight, can find an advantage for RA. We finally get blood on the rift. And it might not be stopping. Oh my god, the Zenith play was so close. And it only gets the goal closer. After the fight's done, the goal is even closer than it was before. <laughs> but now Angel tries to start with the dragon. He will be spotted on that ward, though. Rare Adam aware that this is going down. They still have SOFM. They still have a jungler. And Rare Adam 
it looks like they're not gonna be able to fight they're gonna give this one up yeah hung was say here that. but he backed off now it's about 3500 health hung going for the hex flash over cube is in the fight they have taken this and cube looking to get the major out plays here they're committing a tp and ra has sprung the trap and it's taken sooning as now you have on joining, but it's not going to be much. What can Abram do as dragon number four goes over to R. To find the moments to make their composition work. And now Rare Adam are turning over towards the Baron. SFM still dead. There is nothing you can really do without a jungler in this moment. You can just try to get into the pit, try to get damage down, but it's already down as the Baron circles around 2,500 health here. There's a lot of poke. But you gotta expect the smite will do it. Baron secured and about to finally end, but we'll eventually back away. Bin 1v1 oh, against Q. He's not gonna be 1v1 for long. Paranoia comes out immediately. The stopwatch is gonna be used with the Zanyas rather. Cube's still making something happen here. Oh. Still making something happen here as Cube gets one of the kills and makes it completely worth it as they're gonna chase down the second. Cube, you're a monster. Diego just can't match it. Nocturne just can't match it. Gwen is here to stay and she is taken over in the 1v2. Bane is running for the hills as the rest of Ore are looking to crack open the base. They can get an inhib here and Lian is still just chasing down Bane. The base is going down and they're missing a member. What can they do? Does RA push up here? They have so much strength with this squad. They're looking for the Nexus Towers, but Angel goes in. The Embers Divide gonna go wide as well. Cube under towers, just taking the tower down by himself. Now he's gonna go down too, as this is gonna be a cleanup by RA. They're onto the last Nexus Tower here, and they have so much the same damage. They have so much to deal with that Sooning just can't handle it. They've got Baron for 40 more seconds, and this could just be the end, Dagda. As Paranoia comes out, they can't see a thing, but they can see the Nexus Towers, and Sooning are routed, and RA will move themselves up the standings damn what a series to close us out all right take the game it was long